Hi there, welcome to WP Expo. Today I will show you how you can create a custom shop page for your WooCommerce store. For that, I will be using the WooCommerce Builder add-in of Product Tax. It is the best WooCommerce builder based on Gutenberg. So that you can dynamically redesign all pages of your WooCommerce store without compromising the loading time. Before going into the tutorial, let's take a look at some of the offerings of this amazing WooCommerce builder. Jump start with pre-made templates and save 80% of your development time. Use drag and droppable blocks for building custom pages. Build everything visually. Get better results with less effort. Upsell with smart product pages. Encourage shoppers to purchase more products. In short, you can provide effortless shopping experience to your potential buyers. So without further ado, let's start creating a custom shop page. But before going into that, make sure you have the Product Text plugin installed on your site. After properly installing the Product Text plugin, go to the add-in section and make sure that the WooCommerce Builder add-in is turned on. Now, go to the Builder section. Here, you can see all available options. For now, let's click on the shop as we wanted to create a custom shop page. Now, you can see two options. Either we can start from scratch or with the pre-made template. First of all, I will start with the pre-made template. Later, I will also show the process of starting from scratch. So please watch the full video for a better understanding. To use the pre-made template, we have to click on the import button. The template is imported to a page that will be our new shop page. Here you can see that the products are displayed in a grid layout. The template also contains Ajax filtering options and pagination so that the shoppers can explore more products. The template is built with two blocks, a product grid block and a filter block. You can customize both of the blocks individually. To customize any of the blocks, just click on it and you will see the customization options on the right side. Let's see some of the most useful customization options at a glance. First of all, you will get some pre-made layouts of the product grid blocks. Then you can change between grid and slide view. Moreover, you can increase or decrease the number of columns and adjust the gaps between columns and rows. Furthermore, you can decide which elements should be displayed and which not, and also can sort their position. The customization doesn't end here. You can change each of the elements of the product grid blocks separately. For example, if you wanted to highlight the on-sale products, just click on the Enable button. Once you enable it, click on the drop-down button and you will see so many customization options, including changing on-sale text, text position, colors, and so many more. Similarly, you will get so many customization options for all of the elements. Now, let's see the customization option for product pagination. First of all, you can choose between two types of pagination, which are load more and numeric paginations. Then you can change the pagination text, position, and colors. You can also adjust the border radius, margin, and padding. After you are done with all customization, just click on the publish button. That's all, your custom shop page ready. If you want to know the customization options of the filter block, we have a separate video that you can watch to learn more about it. The link will be in the descriptions. Now, let's see how the new shop page looks at the front end. Here, you can see that our new shop page is replaced with the default one. Before ending the video, let's see the process of creating a shop page from scratch. For that, just click on the start from scratch option instead of importing the template. Here you can see that the shop page is empty and we have to fill it up with the required blocks. Let's customize the shop page similarly to the template. For that, we need to use the Gutenberg column block with a 33 by 66 ratio. Now let's add the filter block to the left side and the product grid block on the right side. Then we just need to enable the pagination and you have all the customization options to make the shop page even better. So, that's all from today's video. You can learn more about creating and customization WooCommerce shop page from the blog post. 
The link will be in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.